What's up YouTube and welcome to Cerebro 7. So after I've just hit infinite, it's finally time to mess around with some fun deck ideas and cool brews again. This is not necessarily a recommendation for climbing, but this did feel like the strongest Cerebro option outside of Cerebro 2 and 3. So I do think this deck deserves a showcase as a very fun option and it could kind of hold its ground in the infinite rank. So first of all, which cards are must includes in this? Of course, Cerebro as well as Mystique as well as all of these seven power cards. Abinimor as well as Maximus are kind of no-brainers in this, very mana efficient, and we can run zero as a tech choice to play them in the early game at no drawback. We have Black Cat, which is one of the stronger cards in this deck as well, because we can cheat her back out with Ghost Rider at just four mana. That means for four energy, we're fairly consistently getting 10 power on the board and that can still receive Cerebro buffs. Onslaught can also be pretty amazing in this deck, doubling down on Cerebro and Mystique effect or sometimes with the help of locations we can cheat out Onslaught early on. Mystique copies Onslaught and then we play Cerebro on top, activating Cerebro a total of six times. Besides that we have Vision, very annoying for our opponent to play against because we can move around at will. White Tiger also allows us to reach constricted locations. Both of these are also great with Abinimo in case we don't find zero early on. Of course we're also playing Arrow in this, arguably the best card in the game right now and very disruptive to our opponent's game plan. So besides that we do have a few tech choices i personally really like luke in this it does help a lot against scorpions and against locations like sewer system or negative zone which debuff our cards and would otherwise make this deck unplayable but some honorable mentions and considerations would be wong to double the white tiger effect but besides that we don't really have good targets for wong in this and wolfsbane is also a consideration but we only want to play wolfsbane into locations that are completely full so it's a very conditional and inconsistent card at least for this deck we're playing i personally like this final build a lot that i ended up on and like i said more on the fun side not the most competitive deck but can catch your opponents by surprise pretty hard if they have no idea what they're playing against and i did get some cool gameplay highlights against all sorts of decks and i do want to share them with you right here Okay, we can get there with it. Evil. We played this player before. It was a pretty random deck with like Bishop. Okay, we can curve into Maximus here. Nice. Oh, very nice. No, I do think zero makes a lot of sense in this because it enables two of other or other early game plays, right? Maximus and Ebony more. This does make us Shang-Chi a bit. They don't really have another play this turn. Luke and Luke's bar. Name a more iconic duo. Wait, is that Luke bar? Uh, is that uh, Luke, Luke Cage? His own bouncer. I don't think they play... This just looks like the regular bounce deck. I don't think they play um, Shang. Which means Luke's bar is amazing for them, but our start is just way too good. They stamper, we did, we did. Oh. Well, it has to be Vision this turn, though. Kill trash your deck. It's too late. Look at how far ahead we are. They have two demons, if I'm not mistaken. I am a bit scared of Darkhawk right side. That's pretty much it. What's the worst they can do? Darkhawk and another demon. Oh, we don't have a play. Biggest play is actually Ghost Rider, that's sad. Uh, 
Her Darkhawk is only 12, it's not that huge. It would beat us on the right side. So this makes sure we don't lose to Darkhawk even if it gets copied left. Middle we would probably still lose. We kind of got to hope that Maximus Ghost Rider would be enough to win. Uh, do we run here? Nah. Nah, we don't run here. GG's. No! Okay, Cerebro is useless. Unless Slayer 817 Shang Chi's us. Oh? But that kind of means I want to not show the Cerebro, but I kind of have to. see if they'll get up or not Hero. I mean honestly it's not looking too horribly for us with vision and we're good players so we'll draw white tiger as well surfer Zabu storm polaris that's odd I'm tempted to snap this. This is the last chance we get. Oh! Why did you do that? I mean, thank you, but why did you do that? This does feel a lot like Surfer. I guess we'll go for the 50-50. White Tiger, please go mid. I think it's better to do it the other way around. This is better in case they have Mr. Fantastic. We're goated at this game. No! Wait, it's a tie middle though? Oh, we lose tiebreakers. Ah. Oh, we got so close! God damn it, monster. Why did you have to ruin it for us? I blame you, abomination. If we show Luke Cage, it's more likely our opponent runs. They also kind of want to see the third location. Not good for us at all. Oh, still. Kind of got to snap this. Oh, snap. Fancy Bishop. Pay to win account. Okay, we can make use of this right here. So let's six. Oh. Oh. If they have Iron Man, they're gonna play him this turn. If they have magic. Probably gonna play her middle, I'd say. I'm not sure if they're gonna. We didn't show Cerebro 7 yet. I don't think they're expecting Arrow. So we don't know what we sniped out. Either way, this has to do it. <laughs> ah, this felt so evil. Oh, it's a Thanos player. Shame. Shame.
Okay, we have Cerebro Mystique. We don't have a lot of space. I think we keep this for last turn. Kind of a good curve. The only issue is Rickety Bridge. We gotta get a card in there eventually. Mansion may break Cerebro. Nah. You almost never roll that high power off of X Mansion. Okay. Oh. White Tiger middle is good. They'd have to do it next turn. I might also just have to sacrifice Mystique. What? Uh, <laughs> We're just getting leeched here, right? Are we though? They're too far behind. White Tiger and Arrow for last turn. I'm almost hoping for them to arrow us this turn. Easy priority. Get out of here, weakling. Can this lose to anything? I don't think so. Random Doctor Doom. Bye! Finally getting our revenge. Victory. Shame, Thanos player in infinite. Shame. I mean, we do have Cerebro Mystique and Onslaught, but we still need to target. Oh, I should have played Cerebro and Mystique middle, I think. Oh, that works. Skip turn three, so they she hike this turn. G-Hug would go right or left. I'm thinking if we snap this or not. Should have snapped, I think. I probably missed an opportunity here. I think playing Arrow is better here because I have a 25% chance to top deck Black Cat. Even though Arrow gets silenced, I think that's alright. There's a good chance we lose this, unfortunately. But this is the only play that makes sense here. Good luck to us. I don't know. Retreat later might be smarter. Oh, win a bit. Shame. Shame. Get wrecked, Thanos. Come on, four matches in a row after we already played three times earlier on? Oh, this is a misplay. They gotta play Mindstone into one of the blind locations because this one is completely free and playable for Lockjaw. Um, I think we want to shuffle Vibranium at this point. Not sure. Does it make our average draw better or worse? I think it makes it slightly better. We have a filler on turn six. Like we can play five drop plus a, uh, a vibranium. This is the worst meta in your view since everybody's abusing Thanos. I wouldn't say so. I think the Thanos deck's fairly fun. I 
I feel like my opponent is playing very poorly with uh, location space management. There we go. Found an interactive play pattern. Okay, that was weak on their end though. This is definitely winnable. The issue is if they float with Sunspot now, I almost have to respect the She-Hulk. She-Hulk would beat me. Oh. Which means we kinda only win if our opponent is silly and forgets that Vision can't move. Or, well, if they don't play a single card middle, but play one big card left. We do beats. Oh, Dino beats us. Thanos beats us, Magneto beats us. <clears throat> Only losing one cube is perfectly fine here. But yeah, this was a bit sad. Like, I mean, I pointed out all of the misplays our opponent did. And they didn't draw too well, and they still find the angle to roll us over. Although our draw was okay, right? Just because of this little fella right here. Does the collection aspect of the game lose its fun factor after completing pool 3? I am nearing the end of it and realizing that not having the cards I want part of this game's charm. I think you're in the minority. I think most people hate that. I think most people hate exactly that. And they would rather have access to more cards so they can play all the decks that the content creators are showcasing. They can play all cards in tournaments. Oh, I mean, it's a bot wave. Yeah, what do I care about? The smartest play, like the, the, the most solid play is to get ahead on all three locations, take prior priority everywhere. That means less cubes against the bot because we don't bait them into snapping. But I mean, at this point, I don't care about cubes anymore. We're in infinite already. If I might not be able to play Mystique this turn. Yeah, especially if I draw something like Vision. Uh, I can't move Vision to the right though. We could clog our opponent here. Be good. Huh. But kind of just makes it easy for us. I don't want to risk them having drawn a Mjolnir, so I'm not going to play right side here. Although it is 12 power, it would tie. But then we can lose on tiebreakers. Middle seems to be much safer. They're not even snapping. These bots are evolving. Mjolnir, to me. Tommy. Oh, thank goodness I'm playing middle. Mjolnir, to me. Would not have expected this. From a bot at least. Seriously? Like I... <laughs> Victory. This is something only a bot would do. The ugliest Odin skin in a game and they have it inkified with Kirby Crackers. Ridiculous. Which human player in their right mind would ever do this? Any poo poo rhymes with orange? I don't think so. Can you see multiple map pixel? I don't think so. Okay, we've got the combo, but we don't have enough seven power cards to receive the buffs. Huh. 
Huh. Send it. What could possibly go wrong here? You can already see us getting Iceman four times. Electro into Mystique combo. Brilliant. Right. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, okay. So we both kind of high roll the card from the hub. This does seem like the bond stack, doesn't it? I love this animation. Just the hood being bounced, okay. Should maybe just ditch the left side. Should probably just ditch the left side. Do we go full greed? Onslaught, Mystique, Cerebro. F it, let's send it. Fucking hell, might. We're all inning this. How many buffs does it give us? I think Cerebro will trigger eight times, right? The Onslaughts double each other, so they're X4 each. Should be enough to win us the game. They can go, go taller on the right side, so this is where we play zero. Oh, this is nasty. Hit him with a dirty. Not even sure what beats us here. Surely not this. The, the wombo combo. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Okay, wait, wait, wait. My maths didn't check out. Victory. Onslaught has plus 12 here. Cerebro triggers six times. So the first onslaught actually does double the, the like the first onslaught second doubles the second onslaught, but not vice versa. The one onslaught is giving Cerebro 2x and the other one is giving it 4x. GG boss. I think we might be Cerebro 3 here. What a wild set of locations. Okay. We're freestyling at this point. So the first Okoye got negated by District X. Shanna? We could leave this slot open for full Shanna value. She could also ruin my Cerebro. Unlikely though. I don't really have plays for the next turns though. I think it's just another Cerebro copy here. New York makes this much easier of a play to make. So we can play Angela as long as we don't stack her up completely. I think last turn is actually Shanna. I think we might have to risk it. Ooh. No! Victory. That was such a cool game. We high rolled much harder than our opponent though. They got kind of cocked by District X, removing the first Okoye buff. This one was not a Okoye buff, this one was not Okoye buff. Oh! 
There's no reason to play zero on turn one though. Let's see the second location first. Which means we also wait with snapping until turn two. Okay. Actually good for us with Onslaught. Now they think we're Shuri. Ah! I love it. some type of destroyer deck how scared are we of cosmo right i think we want to dodge professor x go vision here i, I doubt that they'll just randomly professor x right side magic could be cool in this deck yeah magic could be cool i don't think it's better than any of the tech choices we have i think the most cuttable card at this point is probably uh luke cage Do we want priority last turn? I don't know, I want to try this. Oh, we did clog them. Uh, no. Ooh, okay, good discard. Can I get Onslaught top deck, please? Please? We have 11 power on all of the... We lose to Destroyer, don't we? Well, this would tie Destroyer right side. We would win Breakers. We basically have to mirror their Destroyer. We have to guess if they would play middle or, or right. The destroyer would be such a YOLO move by our opponent. Let's try this. Oh, just Warpath? Easy. Get that out of here. Get that weak stuff out of here. The sneaky hidden cerebros. In this case, we didn't even need them, but still a cool game with a random second cerebro. Victory. Oh, this could have been such a hard pop off, though, if we also would have found Mystique at Onslaught. Could have been some insane numbers. I just have to ditch the Cerebro plan in this one. We have a good hand though. good I would even call this snappable Snap. sure black hat sponsors seven power well we find out uh -huh. okay I mean sure you do you the scientific experiment here it is which in this case is actually good for us we don't mind the extra power buff since we don't have cerebro online pretty sure we just give up the left especially against the movement deck that might play heimdall and with vision and white tiger we just keep on contesting these two lanes <laughs> pretty cool card art Okay, they pretty much locked themselves out of middle. They can only play one card. 
should just win. We beat nonsense like Claw and Fantastic. Blue Marvel. GG's.